First subject, apostleship. Give me Matthew 10 and 1, Terry. <coughs> do you understand? Matthew 10 and 1. This is what we'll do. We're going to deal with the Scripture. Matthew 10 and 1, what did it say? And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples. What did he say? He gave them power. Okay. All the apostles had power. Do you understand? Every last one of them had power. They didn't have a lot of talk. They had power. They had power from heaven. Tell me, brothers and sisters. Do you understand? Read the book, brother. When he had called unto him his twelve disciples, what did he say? He gave them power. He gave them power against unclean spirits. To do what? To cast them out. You will have your opportunity to prove it. Amen. Do you understand? What else did it say, brother? And to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. You will have your opportunity to prove it. Do you understand? That's right. We look, we're dealing with the Bible. That's right. That's, That's right. what we're dealing with. Yes, sir. Do you understand? True. What else did it say? Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. Give me verse five, brother. The twelve, these twelve Jesus sent forth. These twelve apostles Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, What did he say? Go not in the way of the Gentiles. Listen. Don't go to the way of the Gentiles. And into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not. Read the book. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, when ye go, preach. Preach. Saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh -huh. Read it. Heal the sick. Do what? Heal the sick. If all the apostles in that Bible was given this charge. If there's one on the scene this day, he's got the same charge. Got have you got to have the same yeah, charge. Got to have Do you understand? Not talk. Charge. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Read the book, brother. Heal the sick. Heal the Heal sick. Them. Cleanse the lepers. Do you Heal the sick. Amen. Don't leave them there sick. You got the power to heal them. Hear me, brothers and sisters. Amen. Do you understand? Remember, you call me out. And, and, I, and I accept. We can sit with the scriptures and we're going to deal with the book yes, sir. and see what the Bible said about it. Amen. Read the book, brother. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. This is the apostleship. Amen. Amen. This is the power Jesus gave them. Amen. We have never said, as has been often said over the last few weeks, that we don't believe in apostles. That's not our teaching. Amen. Amen. We have never said that we don't believe in apostles. We have said we don't know any. Amen. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. An apostle that got this power that Jesus gave these brethren, I don't know one. Amen. I know not one. Amen. I'm not in a corner saying this. I know not one. Do you understand? We're going to deal with what Jesus gave them. I'm not concerned about a lot of talk, a lot of slander, a lot of threats. I done heard all the threats. What would be done to me? Do you understand? What could be, could, you could have done to me. I done heard all that stuff. Do you understand? Hear me, brothers and sisters. We're dealing with the scriptures here. I can't read in a book where the apostles sent threats to people. No, sir. Amen. Amen. I read in the Bible where the apostles were threatening themselves. That's right. For they said, Behold the threatening. Amen. The apostles didn't send out threats no, on sir. people. No, sir. Throw them out on their head. No. The apostles. No, a holy man. Amen. No, sir. Hear me, brothers and sisters. No, sir. What did the book say, brother? Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. What did the book say? Raise the dead. Do what? Raise the dead. That's the apostleship. Amen. I'm not making this up. This brother's reading scripture here. Amen. Beat me and then beat my reader for what? Amen. For reading the book? Amen. We're reading the book here. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. We're reading this stuff straight from the scripture. Amen. I'm not making this up. Yes, sir. Read the book, brother. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Raise the dead. That's the apostleship. Yes, it is. Raise the dead. And it did not say pull them out of sin. No, no sir. sir. No, sir. So that's how I raised the dead. That's no, the seat. That's not what they were talking Amen. about. Amen. Hear me, brothers and sisters. No, Amen. No, we're sir. dealing with the scriptures Amen. here. Amen. I look forward to the discussion. Amen. Hear me now. I look forward to it. Not only will we deal with the works of the apostles, we will, we will deal with 
the conduct of the apostles. Amen. Look out. Give me 1 Thessalonians 2 and 10. And then 2 Timothy 3 and 10. Hear me now. We're dealing with the book here. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and at verse 10, what did it say, brother? You are witnesses. Paul said, you are witnesses. And God also. And God also. How holily. How what? Holily. Paul said, how holily. And justly. And justly. And unblameably. And unblameably. We behaved ourselves among you that believe. Mm -hmm. That's the testimony of an apostle. Amen. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Amen. That's the testimony of an apostle. Yes, sir. How holily. Holy. How unblameably. Amen. We behaved ourselves among you that believe. Amen. That's the apostles' testimony. Amen. 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 That's how they talk. Amen. 2 Timothy 3 and 10, brother. Let's see what Paul said over here. What did he say? 2 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Paul didn't mind them examining his doctrine. He said, y'all, you have fully known my doctrine. Manner of life. And what? Manner of life. <laughs> you know the type of life I'm living. Amen. Paul didn't mind nobody checking his life out. Amen. That's the testimony of these brethren. Do you understand? This is the apostleship that's written in the book. Amen. Don't get upset with me because I teach this stuff straight from the scripture. Amen. That would be the first subject we will deal with. Second subject I would like to deal with my brother is the son of God. I want to deal with it. I look forward to the discussion. It will be an orderly and respectful discussion. Amen. I will give you time to talk. I, give me time to talk uninterrupted. And we will deal with nothing but the scripture. Hear me now. If you can correct me, I will accept correction. Praise the Lord. Amen. But if you are corrected, accept correction. Amen. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. If I'm wrong about anything, I will repent openly when a whole city can hear it. Yes, sir. But if you're wrong, I want the same thing from you. Do you hear me? I want to deal with the Son of God. This teaching whereby God at no time purpose for us to honor or worship the Son of God. I want to deal with that, brother. St. John 5, 23. Listen to the scriptures here. St. John chapter 5 and at verse 23. What did it say, brother? That all men should, should honor the Son. Do what? Should honor the Son. Even as they honor the Father. Mm -hmm. But no, don't, don't, don't honor or worship the Son of God. All men should honor the Son. Did it say all men? All, all men. Should do what? That all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. Amen. Hmm. I want to deal with it, my brother. Give me Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 6, brother. Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 6, what did it say? And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, When Jesus, the first begotten, was brought into the world, he said, And let all the angels of God worship him. Amen. I want to deal with it. Amen. Amen. I look forward to this day. I want to deal with it. Give me 1 Peter 3.21, brother. 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 21. I don't mind a biblical discussion. I'll sit and talk with anybody. What did it say? 1 Peter 3.21. The light figure you wear unto even baptism doeth also now save us. Read the book. Not to put in the way of the filth of the flesh. Read it. But the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. By what? The resurrection of Jesus Christ. Read the scriptures. Who is gone into heaven. Where did he go? Oh, into yeah. heaven. Jesus went where? Into Who is gone heaven. into heaven. But they said he was from the womb to the cross and no longer the son of God. <laughs> He's gone into where? Into heaven. Read the book. And is on the right hand of God. Amen. You, you, what, brother, <laughs> what kind of Bible you got? <laughs> Read the scriptures. Who is gone into heaven. Read it. And is on the right hand of God. Read it. Angels and authorities. Angels and authorities. And powers. And powers. Being made subject unto him. 